Yesterday, let's start it off an amazing, an amazing anniversary meal. Started off, I had 18 whole baked clams and I drank the juice. Just unbelievable gravy. Dipping bread, garlic bread, garlic sticks, pounding them out. Then I had four stuffed mushrooms, which is a signature dish, and it was unbelievable. I went to this place called Absolutely Mario. And this guy, the owner's there, and he's so weird. He comes over and says, how's everything? I said, everything's great. It's absolutely tremendous. He goes, absolutely. And he takes something out of his pocket, and he opens it up and says, absolutely. Funniest thing ever. Then I went for a salad. That was phenomenal. I normally don't do this, but I went for the um, leaf bacon salad. Very, very solid. And it was warm with mushrooms that were warm and, I, and onions that were warm. And it was very, very good. So I liked it. Like a spinach salad, but it was a little different because it had the mushrooms, onions, the warm bacon dressing, and everything was warm. I would have rather liked the cold, but I dealt with it. You know, I, I, it wasn't great, but I ate every fucking thing on the plate. Then I went for the fritter de mer over linguine, uh, fra diablo. Shrimp, scallops, clams, mussels, uh, sauteed calamari, very nice. Oh, also another appetizer, fried calamari. It was unbelievable. Very solid. Had it in the fra diablo sauce. Then everybody had their normal meals. I went out with uh, Tom and Debbie Ditt, me and Sandy, and they don't want dessert because they're fucking full because normal people are full. I had three desserts. I had a toasted almond cake that was fucking incredible. I had a sorbet, a lemon sorbet to cleanse the palate. You know, one of those sorbets that come in the lemon, the top off. Unbelievable. It was breathtaking. Then I had a cappuccino with an extra shot of espresso, and they brought like six biscotti cookies, I guess, to the table. No one wanted them. I ate all fucking six. Then I go to the bathroom, and I'll tell you right now, there's only two bathrooms in a place. A urinal and a toilet. Of course, I got a shit. I blow the fucking bathroom out. There's people waiting. It's fucking embarrassing. It's humiliating. I should carry, like, a Lysol spray with me that if I have to shit in a place, I guess I don't kill people. And what was really nice about the evening is they had an individual there singing with a guitar. And he did everything. It was fucking stupid. It was from, he did everything from Hendrix to the Grateful Dead. Then he went to, like, Neil Simon, Neil Young. Then he did Elvis. He did some Beatles. It was a potpourri of melodies. And you know something? You're having a great time to listen to someone sing and play guitar. Just an unbelievable night. Let's end it quick right now. With, let me ask something. Did you see John Stewart? Rip fucking Kramer, a motherfucking asshole. First of all, Kramer has a big set of balls. I mean, he's worth about a half a billion bucks, so what does he give a flying fuck? And he has a show, Mad Money, I'm sure you see it. But John Stewart attacked him and really called him right to the mattress because he said, hey, listen, you ain't no fucking entertainer, bozo. You're on CNBC. You're supposed to be a fucking expert. It ain't funny when you tout stocks and they go down and people's lives are on the line. You're fucking killing people. Are you out of your fucking mind? And he just went at him hard. He ripped him a new motherfucking ass. And let me end it right now. Dane Cook, he's touring. Just got my ticket to see him at the NASA Coliseum. That motherfucker is funny. Love Dane Cook. Let me weigh myself right now. See what's going on. Fucking, the phones are ringing off the hook. We had an early game. Let's see what we got. Oh, we're back to pounds. Thank God so I could read it. I have to have my nephew translated. 261. All right. 261. I haven't broke 262 and a half. I'm rolling. Love you. See you on Saturday. Bye-bye.